everyone. Today we're going to practice doing a 24-hour urine here. Okay, so I'm going to say that I got this. This person looks like they had anurea because there's hardly any liquid in there. Um, but say that this jug was what somebody um, collected their 24-hour urine in. And I turned on my <clears throat> turned on my scale. This scale, unfortunately, only goes up to 200. That's why I had to put so little in the jug. Um, but uh, we're going to work with what we have here. So I put this full jug on there, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down my measurement. So I wrote down my total measurement here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to aliquot specimen from here because I need it uh, for some testing that I'm doing in the lab. So since there's hardly any in here, I am honestly just going to swirl, always swirl, and then I'm going to pour it. Otherwise, you'd need to use a pipette. And most of the places that uh, do 24-hour urine, they have these really long, amazing, huge pipettes. They kind of look like turkey basters. It's super cool. And um, they end up using those to get the amount of specimen, specimen they need. Um, if you're doing your analysis on this, which most likely you're not going to do on a 24-hour urine, um, you need to make sure to have 10 to 12, um, 10 to 12 mils, and it's very hard to see that this is a 14, I need this to focus, 14 mil tube here, so you want to get 10 to 12 mils if you're doing a random urine analysis. Um, which wouldn't happen off of a 24, but I'm just trying to use what I have here. Okay, so I ended up having this 24-hour um, urine. I've already aliquoted um, to make sure that I have what I need. I recorded my results. It's um, at zero right now. And what I'm going to do now is empty the urine. It's just water, so I'm pouring it down the sink. I'm emptying the jug to make sure that I can measure this um, empty so empty container so I can figure out how much urine I actually had. So I put this on here and I see now that my urine jug collection jug was 126.4. So then, ah, and that's all that's all grams, and one gram equals one cc. Um, I need to fix my, <laughs> I need to fix my, um, uh, my camera, hold on just a second. All right, so I just fixed my camera, and off camera I actually did the math too. So I subtracted um, how much I had originally, um, I subtracted how, how much the empty container weighed from the original weight of the full container. And this is how many grams or cc's um, the patient actually urinated within 24 hours. So in the LIS, you would end up putting the, um, the amount of uh, your total volume in for whatever test that you would have. Okay, um, I will catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day.